Hello there people, this is Noble Mage and welcome to my final AC3 commentary. Why? Well, of course, as you know, Assassin's Creed 4 is just a few days away. Are you ready for it? Well, as I promised, I will be making live commentaries over my first two games and I do want to win them. I did the same with AC3 and, you know, turned out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I won. But I can't be sure luck will be smiling me this time around as well. So yeah, as somebody said, <laughs> victory lies in preparation, right? To that end, I have been watching all AC4 MP footage, especially like Loomer's videos and, you know, picking up any important details I see, you know, changes to the streaks, the perks, the abilities, what position is Lady Black in the character selection screen, you know, important stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, as you may have noticed, there's like already a ton of opinions out there, people already tagging things as broken, even though they are clueless of how it will play along together. But of course, I also have my own opinion on the many subjects, so let's get started with that. First, let's talk about the changes to Smoke Bomb. Let's be brief. It is weak. Yeah, you heard me. Weak. It's not that, oh, it is not OP anymore. No, 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 no. It's not even a normal ability. It is weak. People who are training dealing with Assassin's Creed 3 Smoke Bombs will find it a joke dealing with 4 Smoke Bombs. Unless they get a patch and the delays reduce at some point or something like that. But notice though, I'm not saying I want a patch for a smoke bomb. I'm perfectly fine with having one game where a smoke bomb is a weak ability after having played three games, one where it was useful, one where it was broken, and one where it was a powerful ability. So yeah, you know, this is like the next combination. <laughs> Might as well try it. I'm perfectly fine with it. As for the streaks, well, they have done this new approach to the streaks, uh, two for silent kills and one for non-silent and stunts. Personally, I really like that, because it allows for a much more dynamic game plan than silent, silent streaks allowed before. Like, you can get silence when it makes sense, and you can do rush kills when it makes sense. Before, like, you could, you have to be, like, if you use the silent streaks, you have to be bound to doing only silent kills, and that could be problematic at some points. Also, for people who play stealthy, getting contested now means that you get at least one point for your streak, rather than nothing, as you did in other Assassin's Creed if you si used a silent kill streak. Yeah, like, oh yeah, you were all were going to get your ink or bonus, and then you got contested and then you, lo you lost your streak point. At least now you get one, you know, it's not the same as two, of course, but that's definitely pretty good. On another note, all the streaks are so much more expensive in this game. <laughs> that kind of makes the use of kill buffer like mandatory, unless you use one of the cheaper streaks. The 250 streak is 9 points, which will usually translate to 3 silent kills, 2 stuns, and 1 non-silent kill. The 550 streak is 13 points, will, which, which will tra translate more or less to 4 silent kills, 3 stuns, and 2 non-silent. You know, those game plans are damn near impossible, <laughs> if not completely impossible, without kill buffer. So actually, I have been thinking about trying new strategies, like, I don't know, using the cheaper streaks, such as Revelation. Unlike previous games, Revelation is a kill streak instead of a loss streak, and the important detail about it is that it lasts forever unless you're killed or stunned. This is actually far more good than you may think at first, right? Well, it is true that, well, good players are very aware of their pursuers, having that extra edge of, well, literally revealing them could really improve anyone's gameplay style. Like, well, one thing you could do is equip kill buffer so that your kill streak only goes down by one instead of resetting, and then use revelation, which is a cheap kill streak. It's a five point kill streak, so it will more or less translate to two silent kills and one stun or non silent kill, right? What I think will happen is that you will be doing revelation so often that it will almost always be activated. I mean, even if, even if you die or get stunned, if you have kill buffer equipped and you have been using the streak to your advantage, you should be close enough, enough to trigger the streak again and therefore like keep it at activated for the entire duration of the match. Well, as we ne with anything of course, there's a drawback, you know? Uh, I mean, that strategy will be mostly effective in Deathmatch and Wanted because they are contract based. In modes like Assassinate and um, probably in team modes, I don't really see how that streak might be like all that good. But, you know, we'll really have to see how that plays out in the end. 
Also, well, another reason I think it's actually good that the streaks are so expensive is because it will more or less give rise to new perks being used. Because, well, in AC3 you had like uh, kill buffer was more or less mandatory for free for all, <laughs> for all free for alls. And, well, in team modes it was more or less the same uh, perks depending on the mode you were playing. Like in Artifact Assault it was. Uh, unstoppable and uh, overall cooldowns, or if you were on the defense, it would be something like resistance and stuff like that. So, well, I know to be honest, the game will never be like perfectly balanced. There's gonna be always like tendencies to use certain abilities, perks, streaks, etc. Because what people find effective, that's what most people end up using in the end. But personally, I think that in this Assassin's Creed, well, there's definitely definitely gonna be a little more variety in that sense depending on how you want to do your strategy as for the new perks themselves well we have fast recovery which uh, basically if you get killed after using ability you get it back faster I think that perk well it may not be useful like in every mode but I kinda see how it can be useful in manhunt because like in manhunt at least in the de when you're defending it it's like the most common scenario to just use an ability before you die I mean it's the logical thing, if you have an ability you will try to defend yourself, so it will probably be very effective there, but you know, well in AC3 I didn't play Manhunt, although I kinda intent on doing it on AC4, so, but we'll see, that's just like what I think uh, will be probably the best mode for that perk. And we also have Determined, tan, 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 tan. yep, the controversial <laughs> perk that everybody's been mentioning. And, well, for those of you who don't know about it, basically what it does is that when you get contested, your approach uh, bonus doesn't change. Well, and I think that while it does not reduce the score, we don't know if it keeps bonuses as they were before the contested kill. And I'm not talking about hidden and such here, because, yeah, it's already been pointed out that if you get contested, you lose the hidden. So even if you have determined, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have the hidden bonus. What I want to call your attention is to the fact that if you had a silent or incoc bonus, which, well, those aren't the actual names, but, but well, yeah, whatever they're named, they may or may not count for your streak. I mean, even if you have determined, we don't know that yet. I saw in Loomer's video that he was using the determined and he killed a person and he got contested. The kill was discreet before he got contested, so it will have counted as one point for the streak anyway. But what puzzles me is that the discrete bonus, or whatever the name for that bonus is, uh, did not show up during the bonus list. Like, instead of saying, like, uh, discrete, this and this, well, it was discrete in chain. But instead of saying, like, discrete or whatever, it said determined and not discrete. And, well, the chain still came up, but the discrete did not. So we have a question, like, if I have determined and I do get a silent kill, well, and I do have a silent kill and I get contested, does it count as two points for my streak? My reasonable guess about that is that it would not. But, you know, that's the kind of thing that... Well, I didn't see any video that I could use as a reference to know if it is like that or not. So, we'll just have to wait for the final game. Finally, I would like to say that, in my personal opinion, and I kind of said this before, I think that Assassin's Creed 4 could easily be the most balanced Assassin's Creed so far. There's never really like a balanced game, you know, that that's just like impossible. People will always be complaining about something. <laughs> it, we're just like naturals at, 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 at doing that. But I think that at least from the initial layout that the abilities and everything seem to have, it seems that it seems that it's going to give rise to a lot of new strategies and stuff. Like even the abilities themselves, well, <laughs> with the massive nerf to smoke bomb. And, oh yeah, and also the gun. It's not nearly as, effe as effective either now. I mean, like, the execution is 50, meter is 50. <clears throat> so, yeah, all those changes, like... I in, a, in I don't know for other people, but from what I think, I think it kind of addresses most issues that AC3 had in terms of balance. But my real concern right now is if Ubisoft will be giving good support to the game after it comes out. And what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that, for example, in AC3, we did have some support. You know, they were fixing bugs, uh, and they had updates every now and then. But 
for some things it was kind of slow. For example, the animus hack glitch took a lot to fix. It would be the ideal thing to think that the new game uh, will be glitchless, but to be honest, that never happens. So uh, we just kind of have to have faith that Ubisoft will be fixing stuff this time around. And if not, this could easily be the last Assassin's Creed for some people. I'm not saying for me, but we don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Well, that's about it. It's been a pleasure <laughs> uploading videos for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed uh, my AC3 series. I will still upload one more video. Uh, by the way, this video is uh, part of my subscriber series, which is an idea that I kind of abandoned during uh, AC3's lifetime. But I think I'm going to continue it in AC4, and actually I'll upload the final match. This was actually the subscriber uh, match with Iron Show, which I hadn't uploaded in a ton of time. You can't even tell because my prestige is really old. But yeah, I'm going to finish uploading that, and I have the intention of continuing in AC4. Well, as usual, if you liked, hit the like button, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you next time.